Hi everybody, my name is Dmitry and in this video I want to show you how to install and set up the Bradbury WordPress theme. This is a free theme, but a premium version with even more features is available. In this video you will learn how to set up the homepage just like the themes demo. I will also explain the themes features, settings and customization options. In the second part of the video I will explain the difference between the free and the premium versions of the theme. I will also provide an exclusive discount discount code for the premium version of a theme, so stick around. You will find all the necessary links in the description below. Ready to get started? Let's go! This video was recorded using WordPress 5.5.1 and version 2.0 of a Bradbury theme. Some parts of this video might be obsolete in future versions of WordPress or of this theme. To install the free Bradbury theme, go to the dashboard and open the themes page in the appearance section. Click the Add new link and search for Bradbury in the search field. Hover the theme and click the Install link. It will take a few seconds for the theme to be downloaded and installed on your website. Click the Activate button to activate the theme. If your WordPress website is new and has no content, this is what the homepage will look like after activating the theme. WordPress automatically adds some standard widgets to the sidebars. Let's start by removing them. Now let's look at the themes demo and I will show you how to set up every part of it. It's a simple process that anyone should be able to handle. In the header we have a website's logo, the primary menu with a drop-down effect and the secondary menu. After that comes a full-width slideshow that can display up to 5 featured pages, not posts. Next comes the featured pages section, created with a custom widget included in the theme. After that we have the recent posts block, with a sidebar on the right. And finally the website's footer, which is divided into 4 widgetized columns. The themes demo contains a collection of pages and blog posts. The homepage is set to display the latest posts, which is why we have a blog post section on the homepage. I'll get back to this topic later in the video. Now let's take a closer look at every section of the website and I'll show you how to set everything up. Let's start by uploading a logo for our website. Go to the Customize page and open the Site Identity panel. Upload a new image or select an existing one from your media library. After you select the image, click the Skip Cropping button. The Bradbury theme has two menu locations in the header of the website, primary and secondary. The primary menu can have multiple levels with a drop-down effect. I have a separate video about creating and using menus. If you are new to WordPress, I suggest that you watch that video. Another important thing to know about this theme is its mobile menu. On smaller screens, the theme displays a collapsible menu. Your mobile menu can be the same as your primary menu, or you can create a separate menu for smaller screens. To add pages to the slideshow on the homepage, open the Customize page, then the Theme Settings panel and the General Settings sub-panel. Enable the featured pages on the homepage and then choose up to 5 of your pages. Now let's look at the custom widgets that are included in the theme. Open the widgets page. The two custom widgets are Featured Pages and Recent Posts. The Featured Pages widget lets you add a row of up to 4 pages. You can choose to display or not the page thumbnails, titles, excerpts, taglines and the Read More links. You can use multiple instances of this widget to display any amount of pages on the homepage. 
The Academia Recent Posts widget lets you display recent blog posts optionally filtered by category. You have the same look and options as the Featured Pages widget. Before I show you what else can be done with the homepage, let's look at how the footer is set up. There are four widgetized columns of equal width. The demo uses only standard widgets in the footer, a text widget in the first column and navigation menu widgets in the other three columns. There are a few more things that you can do with a homepage. On the settings reading page, the demo is set to display the latest posts. You can, however, choose a static page as the home page and a separate page as your blog page. If I do that, you can see that the custom widgets are no longer displayed on the home page and it looks just like a regular static page. For this reason, the theme comes with two additional custom page templates. Let's edit the About page, which we have as our home page. In the Page Attributes box, if we select the Only Widgets custom template and save the page, we can see that the home page displays only our widgets and nothing else. If we select the Widgets Plus Page Content template and save the page, we have our widgets and the About page content. This allows you to create a home page that fits your specific needs. Now that we're finished with the homepage, let's look at all the other theme features, settings and customization options. Let's open the customized page and then the theme settings panel. The sidebar can be displayed on the left, on the right or hidden. The dynamic menu is a feature that is very useful on websites with a lot of pages. When you have pages with multiple child pages, a menu is automatically generated in the sidebar. This menu makes it easier to navigate from one sibling page to another. You can also choose to display or not the featured images in posts and pages. In the footer sub-panel, you can change the copyright text and enable or disable the Academia Themes credit link. It's that simple. The free version of the theme also comes with some basic color customization options. Go to the Customize page and open the Theme Colors panel. You can change some of the main colors in the theme. As an example, let's transform the website's footer to a light color scheme. Now that I've demonstrated what the free version of the theme can do, let's look at the additional features that are available in the premium version. After you purchase and install Bradbury Pro, all you have to do is activate it on your website. When you switch from Bradbury Lite to Bradbury Pro, all your settings will be transferred over, so you won't have to redo anything. Let's start with the additional custom widget that is included in the theme. The Call to Action widget lets you easily create simple buttons. You can choose the button text and URL. You can also set custom colors for every widget. The premium version of a theme provides an easy way to change some things on a per-page basis. Here's an example. We might want this specific page to have a sidebar on the left side, not on the right side, as well as hide its featured image. Edit the page, choose the sidebar's position and save the changes. We could hide the sidebar completely and even hide the page's title. There could be scenarios in which you would need these features. 
Another really cool thing is the ability for parent pages to display their sub-pages. As an example, let's look at the academics page, which has four sub-pages. If we edit the page, we can see this checkbox for display child pages. Let's check it. Now we get to choose the layout and some more options. Let's save the page and see what happens. We get this list of child pages. What else can we do with this? Let's display the child pages in a grid of two instead of a list format. What if we hide the sidebar? Then we have room to display these pages in a grid of four. How great is that? It takes just a few clicks and the theme does everything for you. The built-in homepage slideshow has a different design and can display both posts and pages. Let's add this post to the slideshow. Simply edit it and check the feature in homepage slideshow checkbox. This works the same for pages. Now let's look at all the extra settings that are available on the Customize page. The header can use a compact layout or a centered layout. You can enable or disable the pre-header widgetized area, which is displayed by clicking on a special toggle button. For example, you could add a search widget and some social icons to the pre-header widgetized area. Clicking this button will open or close this area. The toggle button displays a font awesome icon. You can choose which one. In the footer, you can show or hide the two pre-footer widgetized areas. You can also choose the number of widgetized areas that you want. In the Homepage subpanel, you can change the heading of a blog post section on the homepage. For posts, you can display or hide the published date, the posts category, tags and the offers bio. The premium version of Bradbury provides font customization options. Go to the Customize page and open the Theme Fonts panel. Here you can choose from the full list of Google Fonts, change the font for different theme sections, tweak the font size, style and so on.
And finally, the Bradbury Pro theme comes with a one-click demo import feature. If you're using the theme on a new website with no content, it takes a minute or two to have a complete replica of the theme's demos. This will help you better understand how different things are set up. These are some of the main differences between the free and premium versions of Bradbury. If you have questions or suggestions, you can find some useful information on the themes page in the appearance section. On this page, you will find links to theme documentation and to support resources. Alright, that's gonna do for my demonstration of a Bradbury WordPress theme. If you enjoyed the video, you can leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one. And as promised, here's an exclusive discount code for the purchase of a premium version of this theme. You can see the code on your screen. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day.